So a while back on my Turf War video that I uploaded, someone asked if I could make a basic version of how to make that game mode. So, I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's get right into it. So first thing you're going to need is a spawn pad. You also need a round setting device, an item grantor, a color tile, a vending machine, a timed objective device, and this blue square objective from the objective gallery. So starting off with the spawn pads, you're going to need two of these, one for team one and one for team two, but they're relatively easy to set up. All you have to do is set the team to one and set visible during games to no. And then you just have to change the team to two for the other spawn pad. Next thing we're going to be talking about is granting the starter weapon and round settings for keeping gold and currency between rounds. First thing you're going to want to do is get the round setting device and make two of them. So we're going to start off with the weapon granting. This is going to be your starter weapon for the game so you actually have something to fight with at the start. There's not much here to do, you just set the round to 1, clear all items on class reset to no, and on round start, transmit on channel 1. Then, for the item granter, all you have to do is have receiving players set to all players, on grant action to keep all, grant to all items, equip granted item, first item, and grant item when receiving from channel one. For the weapon you wanna grant, it can really be anything. Just make sure you put ammo for that weapon too and starter gold. I put 30, but you can put any other amount you want. Now for the round setting device that will keep items and money throughout the game. So this one's also really easy, only four settings. So keep items between rounds is yes. Keep resources between rounds 100%. Clear all items on class reset to no, and gold given to winners per round 20. Okay, so next up is the color tiles. This one's also really simple, there's only two things you need to change. You need to set the score to 1 and steal score to yes. On my map that I made, I actually shrink the color tile down to 1 fourth of a tile, and to do that all you have to do is go to the resize axis all, and then tap your shrink button 5 times, just like that. And then I also decrease the height as much as it can go. And if I'm going too fast, guys, just rewind the video and rewatch what you need to see again. Next up, we have the store at the start of the game where you can buy weapons before the round. This one's also, again, very simple. Uh, most of these mechanics are actually really easy to do. So your first setting you have to change is first item resource type to gold cost of first item you can really make that whatever you want the price of the item in the vending machine to be and then disable when receiving from channel 2. One thing I forgot to mention was that when you're putting ammo in the item grantor make sure you put all types of ammo in it or have vending machines that sell ammo because your player will run out of ammo very fast if they don't have somewhere to buy it or they don't have a lot to begin with so keep that in mind. Now the last thing we need to do is set up the start game mechanics. So the first thing you want to do is get your timed objective and change start when round starts to yes. The time to whatever how long you want them to be in the shop. So you can have it for a minute or five seconds. It really is up to you. I have mine set to 30 seconds though. You can have the timer label text to whatever but I just have mine as round starts in. The timer sound distance is whole map and when completed transmit on channel 2. Now for the objective device. This is what's going to be keeping them in the shop so they can't go out and collect tiles early. So for the settings for this one, the health is invulnerable, the hide health bar at always, play audio and effects off, and destroy when receiving from channel 2. And lastly we have the island settings. So just change what I change and then we're finished. For the island settings, you're going to want to disable the resource widgets and enable the gold widget. You're also going to want to disable building and environmental damage. Then you're going to also want to give players 5 gold and 5 score per elimination. Make the spawn time 8 seconds and have display score on HUD. Then lastly, you want to have 5 rounds, a 4 minute time limit, and the win condition set to score. Now that we have everything finished and set up, we can actually start making a prototype to see if everything works. So I'm going to quickly set up all the mechanics and then I'll show you how it works.
so I finished our little test, so let's see if everything works. Yeah, and it looks like everything works. We can buy our weapons, and the barriers are up, and the round timer is there. Yep, the walls destroy, and now we can color the tiles. There you have it, guys. That's how you make your own Turf War map. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go follow my Twitter. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.